Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mark. We're back here for the daily recap. So, you know, this market has been definitely a little tricky the last two days. You know, oil really has been the culprit for why we have stayed up. Seems like a lot of selling is happening across the board, sneak being in a sneaky manner. Um, is that set telling us something? Is that setting us up for something, you know, bigger to come? Not sure. Obviously, the signs are there that this is this is definitely uh, a little tricky. The last two days, oil up the last two days, high beta down. Besides banks today, everything else really pulled in. I mean, even even the we've we've closed basically with a red bar the last three days on the spiders. Um, you know, banks had had a good day, but they're basically a not event in my opinion. This is the chart of Goldman Sachs. Yes, it's at the lower third of its trading range. Not a whole lot there. JP Morgan, which everybody's saying is the best in breed, still looks fine, um, but they're not great. Um, and I really don't spend a lot of time with them at this point in time until they actually are in play more than you know an afternoon or a morning, which has really not been the case for a while. And if interest rates remain low, they really don't have a sh shot to really uh, try to. F they always have a shot, but to figure out how to really make uh, make more income for them. Um, at least the conventional way. So, you know, you go with the high beta now. We'll start off with one that's probably breaking down a little bit, but in my opinion, this is the first day it hit the 50 day and probably normally holds. You can see the last time that was the case was mid February. Um, so I would expect it to stay at least a hover around here, find some digestion. Um, it could get down to 105, not so sure, but I would expect a little back end filling before earnings comes, in, comes into play. Uh, I, I personally bought a little bit in this area, traded in the morning, bought a little bit towards the end of the day, seeing what happens tomorrow morning. Um, we know it's the best in breed. I'm not really worried that this stock is gonna get a, you know, it's gonna get too scary uh, in general, unless the market obviously takes a severe turn, but you never know. Uh, Amazon actually looked really good today until the market started coming in. This one probably is just going to wait to earnings based on what I'm seeing. You just see the last two weeks almost have been, you know, in a, in a 10 point, 20, 15 point range, for, which for Amazon is very little. Um, and it's forming a nice little digestion base, bull flag, whichever one, you, wh whatever you want to call it, that looks like it could be setting itself up before earnings. Uh, Google looks okay. I know it got an upgrade today, but same thing. This is almost a month of just sitting in the same 15, 20 dollar range. Uh, on a daily basis, have one green bar, two reds. One green, three reds. That's really all it's been doing. So there hasn't been a whole lot of fanfare and a lot of stuff that we're trading, um, but that's because the market is digestion, uh, digesting after such a big move. And I don't think you've got to really do a whole, whole lot. Bios, you know, had a good day last week, and now they've come in a bunch. Um, is this an opportunity to try to get, take a stop, take a, take a stance? I don't know if I'd take a stance, but I would certainly take a shot on a third day down in an IBB uh, going into tomorrow morning. If we do get a gap down, I think it's a little bit of a gift. I think you could probably lean into it a little bit. If we get a gapped up, we probably are just uh, going to find that base level that's going to take some time to really uh, figure itself out accordingly. But overall, you could just see, I mean, you know, Celgene came all the way back to some uh, a key move in average and now might just be caught, be, be caught between the 200 day and I think that's the 100 day or the 50 day. Um, I think it's the 50 day. So that, that, that's the reality of where we're at right now. Um, I, I think the fact that we're having earnings starting, I think it's going to change things up a little bit. It's going to shake, shake ideas up. I think that's where we have to look. Alcoa is always the kickoff. First week, it's always a little few banks. Next week, it's a little bit busier. You have a few high betas, and then obviously the, the week after that, I think, really is the heaviest um, for earnings overall. But, you know, just pulling up the indices, guys, you could just see tight, tight ranges, um, not a lot of movement, easy to get twisted around, um, and you just really want to do less trading. IWM, you know, ha had, has definitely a lag in the rest of the indices, but. It's hanging in there, but not a whole lot of action. And then there's the cues. Um, you could just see, you know, had a, had a few decent moves, and now it's just hovering. Um, again, three red days down. Maybe you get the fourth one. We'll have to wait and see. Is that the beginning of a crack? Uh, oil's at 40. You know, I, opinion is my opinion is it might digest here a little bit, but I can't see it going that much higher. Maybe 45. 
uh, without some real selling coming into play. But again, whatever whatever side the most people are leaned on, usually they push it to the other side. So I, I you know, I don't know really where the open book says uh, most people are still short oil or thinking short or looking to get long. And I think that's really the key to this tape right now um, overall. So, oh, so right now, I'm just staying very light on my toes, really not doing a whole lot. Um, you know, you can get caught very easily in, in, in a lot of these ideas. So you just stay light, stay light, less trading, and let, let, let the market f figure out what, which way they really want to, which way they really want to go. And then obviously with earnings season, I think we'll have a little bit of a little better look than we've had over the last probably two or three weeks. Hopefully you had a decent day today. I'll see you all tomorrow.